Hello everyone and welcome back. We're learning in survival Tinker's Construct still, so. I have uh, smelled up three blocks of iron. And, you know what? Why did I put that back there? I don't know. And you need off of there too. Okay, so first off. I said there was a way that we, or at least I think I said it. There's a way that we can uh, automate these things. Well, first thing we need is a couple of hoppers. So they're not too hard to make and should pretty much know how to do that. Okay. So now we just need to remove that block and this one. And as you see, I raised up my smeltery some and I put two uh, drains on top of each other. Now if you've seen my stone block series, you've probably seen me do this in it, but if you haven't, then well, we're going I'm gonna show it to you now. Alright, so you put your hoppers, you go into your chest as you would, and you put your basin or yeah, your basin there. Well, okay, your Basin here and your casting table there. Sorry. Okay. Now, normally, what you would do is you'd put your faucet on and then you'd have some sort of redstone clock to automate it. But honestly, it's annoying. What you can do is get these drains and then you gotta make sure the arrow of it is point. Stupid eggs, man. The entire these chickens. Ah, anyway. Make sure the arrow is pointing in that way. And then you put your faucet one above it. Same thing for this. Right now it's closed. You're going to want to jump up, shift, click to open it. So that way it's aimed down. Make sure the arrow's aimed in. And again, put your faucet. Okay. So today I thought we would take a pick for and make a pick. So we need what do we need? Let's go to our tool forge pick. We need a pick head, a binding, and a rod. Okay. Well the rod I think I put the sticks back, yes I did. Okay, so the rod we're going to make out of wood. So we're going to come not there, but here. Remove the cobble. And then we're going to put wood there, but we want it to be the wooden tool rod. Alright, and then take that and throw it well, back in this one. Okay, so what we need is the pick head, which we can just put there, and then if you click, well, for this, uh, probably isn't the best example of automation, because honestly, this one here I don't want to automate, so we'll just stick to this for now. That'll get us our pick head. It'll get pulled down through. We'll move that stick out there. And our head's down here. Alright, so then we need our binding. And I'm not sure which binding would probably be the better one. So this is where you can get your book and go look at your tool materials. And then this will show you slime, blue slime. Let's see, what slime give you? Uh, durability a thousand. Ah, here, durability three fifty. You know, give you slimy. All right, and I think that's what they all do, right? Yeah. I don't know. That one gives you two hundred. Okay, so green gives you three fifty, blue gives you two hundred, and magmona gives you one fifty. Okay. Uh, right. So, what does night slime give you? 
125 and then tool mines faster the higher mining level above the upgrade. Uh, well, we don't need the. Because if we give it an iron, it only gives us 50 durability. Pig iron gives us 170. Sponge gives us 250. Ah, uh, prisonerine. Oh, huh, obsidian only gives you. Huh. Bone gives you 65. Stone gives you 20. Flint gives you 40. Ah. Uh, Paper gives you 15, but it also allows you to have a, an additional modifier. That's what the writable. Uh, it's only logical. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Slime actually gives you a decent bit of durability. I mean, cobalt. Ardite. I mean, we could go get Ardite. Wouldn't be that hard. Surprise it did. Okay, what's this one? Total love stone. It literally. What? Absorb it for durability. Uh, okay. Increases overall speed of your total one mining and attacking. Um. It washes off. It'll wash off. Okay, I don't know what that does, but... Alright, so this brings up another important point that I wanted to actually make. Because, like I said, a mod I wanted to, use, to do, I need slime for. Well, obviously, trying to find slimes can be a pain in the butt. So, let's go journey map. You'll see I, f I found a slime island. also found a boat. I don't know who added that. Actually, I want to go over there first. Oh, come on, mouse. Alright, so, yeah, there's this pirate ship here. I'm thinking Cork added it. I'm not sure. Okay, hi, parrot. <laughs> it's cool, they got black banners. Mm, ah, here we go. These are something I need. Because I need string. Those will come in handy. What do we have in there? A bow and TNT, huh? I'll take them. Don't need them right off, but I'll take them nonetheless. What do you have? Ah, bones and gold. And you have TNT and webbing. Okay. Uh, here, your bird. Now these actually have fire charges in them, which is funny. Click it; they'll actually shoot them. It's cool. I don't know if I need fire charges actually, but yeah, you might. Okay, so let's. Oh, come on, mouse, work with me here. Ooh, good and powder. And we'll grab that. And we'll grab those. I wonder if that stays on there. Uh, okay. Cool, it does. Nice. Alright, I checked that one. Huh. Grab that one. Uh, more of those. Oh, what's this? Yeah, see, cork adds that, so I'm thinking that's cool. Pirate that. Ah, our. Our. Uh, gives only a half a thing of. Oh, okay, black carpet. Mm. Okay. You know what? I don't need the black carpet that badly. <laughs> So you can add the black carpet back. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty cool though. Beds. We need beds. Oh, hello. Uh, we'll take you. You can add the bow. 
Don't care. Okay, so anyway. That's pretty cool. Like I said, Cork must add it. Because I don't know what else would. But there's wool if we need wool. Okay, so anyway. Let's go and jump over to the slime island. Because this is the island that we really want to come to. So, going to need some of the slimy grass. Slimy dirt, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll need it. Okay. Ah, uh, and I didn't bring shears with me. Son of a gun. No, I did not. That would have been nice. Hmm. Um, yeah. Then we got liquid purple slime. Let's actually jump back to the house real quick. Uh, teleport home. And do I? Yeah, I do. Thought I had some shears. Alright, um. These things I need to whack like that because I need to string. Alright, so let's go back to the slime island real quick. There we go. Alright. And we will grab some of these. Uh, try not to drown in the Liquid slime, uh, maybe. All right, good. We got some of the vines. That works. In fact, let's see. Will this work? Oh, maybe. Uh, yeah, but it did not work too. Ah, uh, that, that's all right though. Because we can just grab it like that. And we should be good. Alright, and grab that. And grab those. Real quick. And just grab those ones. Uh, there we go. That works. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. That should give us plenty of the dirt now. All right, let's go back home. Uh, home. Thank you. All right. So why did I go through all that hassle? Well, that's a good question. First off. That will give me that, which I need. Uh, the rest of these we can just stick in here for right now. Alright, and I want to grab you with, uh, I guess, just five of you. Now, and then I'm going to need a chest. And some more iron. Alright. So, now... Oh, I guess I was dragging the iron because I was full. Okay. That makes sense. Anyway, I want that. I want these to go like that. To give me that. And then... Uh, wrong way. There. Nice. Okay, so now I need another chest and a bunch of junk I don't need. Alright, so let's stick that there. We'll take this, stick it there, and we need that there. So that way we can grab that. And stick it there. Now it's gonna grow us a bonsai. Look, pretty quick. Again, I don't know why I ain't rendering the 
since we are glitched with this version. I don't know, but there you go. We got a congealed slime block, which is nice. And I'll just throw those in there, throw those in there. And actually, no, we'll keep those out for now. Okay, those can go in here. Uh, you, 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 you can go up there, you go there, and you can go there. Okay, so, now, let's go grab something. Oh. Alright, and, uh, why do I have a stone? I don't know. Whatever. Um, Binding, that's what I was looking at. Uh, we want to go with. Is it. What? No. Okay, so how. Uh, binding. Um, oh, wait. Do I have to. No. Don't say I have to do it that way. So why can't I do it this way? Hmm. I don't think I need it to be liquid, do I? No, you can't melt those. Um. Hmm. May I need block? Never really used the slime before. Um, wrong one. One, that one. Oh, got blue slime balls, yay. Um <laughs> Okay, let's see if a block will work. No. Huh. How the hell? Okay, I mean I know slime works, um Slime guard, slime. <laughs> oh, may I have to make it into one of them slime crystals first? Maybe. I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, huh. Uh, slime. Yeah. Yeah, I need one of them slime crystals. Okay. So let's do slime. Because it won't let me look at the slime binding. So how do I get one of those? Green muddy slime. I need cajoled slime, sand, and dirt. Okay. Well, that's doable. Maybe that's what we have to do. I don't know. Never really used slime. So, let's see. We need sand and dirt. Okay. Slime, sand, and dirt gives me that. Okie dokie. Now I can come over here, throw it in there. Cook it into a thing. Throw it out of there. Chicken. Bad chicken. Get out of here. I'm tired of you chickens. Alright, now, can I use. Ah! There we go. That's what you have to do. Okay, well, this is why we learn. Because. If you don't know, you've got to learn. Alright, so. Let's see. We have our head. Our thing. Um, throw that in there. I don't know why I have it, but oh well. Okay, so now if we come down here to our pick. And our pick head. Binding and our rod. 
to give us this, which has a diamond level. Come on, Miles, pick it up. There we go. So, basically, it can mine the same as that. But, that's, you know, what you gotta do to make a uh, toll in Tinkers. Now, I don't think we only have Tinker Armory. So, got copper, lead, silver. Yeah, so I think the highest durability, well, the highest durability would be, where was it? Dang it, just seen it. There. Or did I get 450? This slime gives us a pretty good durability too. I mean, we have a durability of 579. So it's pretty good. Um, uh, can actually take that and put it back since we don't exactly need it. Okay, um, now, why did I want the vines? Well, we wanted to make a bow. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. Bow string. I think the vines. Yeah. They'll give you. I don't know why that keeps showing up like that, but. Bow string. So, that'll give us a bowstring. Uh, uh, don't want to show me this one. It shows me the other one. Okay, so, now we need a fletching material. Uh, let's see, what can we use for fletching? Uh, fletching. We can use slime leaves. Regular leaves or feathers. Alright, well, let's see. Uh, what is this? Bolt core? Okay, so feather gives us one modifier, 100% accuracy. Slime leaf gives us 1.2 modifier, and 80%. 1.5 with 50% mm -hmm. craft with this projectile ammo will be multiplied by this so huh so this has a modifier of 1 that has a 1.25 but only 80% accuracy so I think we'll go with the feathers so we'll come over here Again, not something I really messed around with because I never really made a Tinker's bow. <laughs> but I figured we'd try it for this testing, so. Feathers. That'll give us a fletching. Okay, mouse, put it down. Thank you. Alright, and then we need what's this? Arrow shafts. Okay, so let's see. Um, arrow shaft can be wood, bone, blaze rod, reeds, ice, or end rod. Wood will give you a modifier one, bonus ammo zero. Bone is modifier of point nine, bonus ammo of five. Blaze Rod gives you 3 ammo. Uh, reads give you 1.5 and 20 bonus ammo. Okay. So I think we know what we're going to use. Now, when they say reads, I'm assuming they mean sugar cane. I hope. Hope that's what they mean anyway. Because otherwise, I don't know. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, yep, read. There we go. Now, 
that gives us modifier 1.5. I don't know how many of those we'll need, but right now we'll just go with that. Okay, so then we need the bow limbs, which I have a cast for. Because what I want to do, I think we need two of them. So we're going to cast them out of iron for now. We can change out these things later, I think. If, if it goes like any other thing in Tinkers. <laughs> but for now, we'll just cast that. And there we go. Alright, so we got two of those. Let's go see what we need. Um, da -da 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 -da, bow. Short bow, long bow. Short bow. Short bow is quick and nimble weapon that allows for fast movement while shooting arrows at a rapid rate. Long bow is a powerful long range weapon that provides high damage but is less mobile than a shorter brother. And then you have the crossbow, a slow but a very powerful weapon. It has to be loaded beforehand by holding right click, but can be fired at any moment afterwards using bolts. Alright, well, I think we'll go with, um, actually, we're going to need a plate for that, so let's grab our plate cast. Now, uh, let's see, uh, bows, iron, let's see, iron, draw speed 2, range 1.5, bonus damage 7, uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, got pig iron, knight slime, cobalt, ardite, and copper, lead. What about lead? Draw speeds 2.5. Bonus is 3. Oh, come on, Miles. Christ. Ardite's 2.2. .2. Of course, that would be the better one, probably. Uh, iron draw speed's 2. Bonus is 7. So that ain't bad. 2.5. Poisonous. Prevents knockback. That's on the bow limb, though. I wonder what it would be on the... Oh, but we can get some lead, though. By coming over here. don't think we'll need more than one thing of it. Oh, wait. Yeah, we will. Because that takes... What is it? Eight? Actually, I think it is. So let's... Go through this in here. Got two blocks. Okay, so let's grab that real quick. Um, grab this. And then we'll give that one and get out. Alright, and then we'll put that back. And then grab that. Put that back. Okay, and then I can show you this. Because it'll fill this up. And this is what I wanted to show anyway, so. Might run a little bit over on this one, but. So now what it's doing is it's going back through because this is now full and cooling down. So once. <clears throat> sorry. Throat. Oh. Anyway, once this is done. The lead, or not lead, but iron, 
will start filling back in here. Now once all that last block's done, it will not bring out the lid, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's go to sleep real quick here. <coughs> all right. Now as you can see, it quit pouring because that was the last of that. Now we can pour our lead straight into our mold which I believe requires eight right yes I did okay I thought it did so now we can grab that now we come over here come back to our bow now we need our plate here are two both uh -huh. limbs that's what they're called and then our string and there we go it's an iron longbow uh 3.8 i guess uh i don't know again not a hundred percent uh, okay. Was not expecting it to have like a score there. Okay. Anyway, now we need our arrowhead. Uh, what's this? Arrow shaft and fletching. Okay, so that's our fletching and our shaft. It's that one breakable yeah it's the downside to it and then we need a, a head well let's see arrow shaft um, let's see bow materials um head uh, let's Bow string, bow shaft. Huh, okay. You're not going to show me what I can make the head out? Um, huh. That's the shaft. It's the fletching. And then that's modifiers. And that's the string, which the strings don't seem to really change anything. Um, uh, the bow arms, huh? Yeah, apparently, um, not going to show me nothing for that, huh? All right, well, what if we make a lead? Uh, no, we'll just make an iron. Just come to think of it, I have a iron thing over there already. So we'll just chuck that back in there and let it melt up. And then we can grab our... Oh, you cost two though. You sneaky son of a... Okay. Um, I need a second one. So crap, I could do the lead. I could just throw the... You know what? I think I will do the lead. If I can. Uh, we'll see. That should smell up pretty quick. I'm going to put that there. Okay, two. You require two, right? Yep. Okay, so. There we go. And then if we put you like that, there we go. <laughs> we have a poisonous, heavy, breakable 
lead arrow. Okay, so now. Oh, good. Get back up. <laughs> I don't think I can always pick it back up, but I can pick it up that time at least. Let's see. Ah. Crap. Where am I? Oh. Oh. Okay. You have a durability on you, I see. So you don't actually lose the arrow. <laughs> yeah, okay. I got you. So you only need that one arrow and then you can replace it. That works for me. And... <laughs> nice. Okay, so that's not bad at all, not really. Alright, so let's see. Um, chicken goes down there. And then we can just throw feathers in there. And we'll throw these over here, along with those. Right, so that's pretty much Tinkers. I mean, Oh, the other thing, sharpening kits too, yes. Almost forgot about those. They are how you uh, will repair your thing on the fly. So, let's throw that in there. And grab a couple more lead. Because I'm assuming that we can repair the arrows. Let's just throw those in there. Grab a sharpening kit which requires two. So I didn't actually need all those in there. Alright, so we'll make a couple of lead ones. Again, I don't know. Okay. Oh, well, throw them ones back in there too. Lead melts so much quicker than the iron. <laughs> then again, we're doing a block of iron, so. But, alright, so we're gonna just go like that. Now, see this where I can replace that with that. Click on it. And then just have it fill up. You know, fill it up. And that was the last one that was, but now I got a block of that. Um, yeah, which isn't the best to use that example on because I have one more thing in there than what I can cast. So let's cast out one in it. Alright, now we'll put that back. And then we can move that there. Take that. Put that. Click on that. Click that. And now we should get those. So, now we have sharpening kits. Mine with flint. Upgrade your tool materials. Mining level. Mining level iron. Well, we already have mining level diamond, so... That don't exactly help. But what you could do is make this go to obsidian by adding obsidian. And there we go. Okay, so now we got lead sharpening kits, which should be all just to go. Yeah, you can 
replace it. Now I'm not going to yet because that'd be dumb. And then this one's made of iron, so you can just take it, your iron one, and replace it. But again, not doing that because, well, I kind of retarded to do it right now whenever they're not that far along yet, damage wise. So, let's see. Uh, you go back in there. This here. Only stole it so I could hang it there. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Um. You go in there. You go in there. You go there. 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 Uh, there. Actually, we can move that one back. We could build a sword as well, but right now I'm not going to. Um, I do have obsidian though, so I'm wondering if I, actually I might need two of those. Can I take these and click on the shirt? Can I do it? Yeah, I can. Cool. Alright, so that works that way. That's good. And then you combine it with the flint. Now I'm not sure. I think you need to do it in tool forge, I think. Uh, let's see. You. Not you. You. And you. Ah, yes. And that will bring it up to the cobalt level. And it don't seem to use one of my monobars. Maybe. Um, no. I did not use one of my modifiers, so cool. So now I'm up to cobalt level mining. Pretty simple, actually. Alright, so that's it, I think, for Tinkers. I mean, we went over that they have the different weapons, different signs, let you or double, we can make hammers. Those will come in handy for mining. Excavators come in handy. Um, yeah, so I think we covered a good bit. So that'll be it for Tinkers, I think. If there's something I missed that you want me to look at, or we'll probably look at other stuff later in the, as I go over other things too, probably. So. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Till next time, I'm out of here. Bye bye.